Regular Committee. I appreciate the opportunity to testify about money market mutual funds and the continuing risks they pose to our financial system. As we all know, during the financial crisis, a single money market fund known as the Reserve Primary Fund broke the buck, triggering a run not only on that fund, but on funds across the market. Within a matter of days, investors had withdrawn about $300 billion from prime money market funds, or 14% of those funds' assets. It was one of several destabilizing events during the crisis. To meet their customers' redemption demands, money market funds began selling portfolio securities into markets that were already under stress, further depressing the value of those securities and creating a vicious cycle. Soon, other funds holding those same securities were struggling to meet the demands of their customers and found themselves at risk of breaking the buck. The shockwaves were widespread. Money market funds began hoarding cash and stopped rolling over existing positions in commercial paper and other debt issued by companies, financial institutions, and municipalities. This dramatically reduced the cash and liquidity available for those entities. In the final two weeks of September 2008, money market funds reduced their holdings of commercial paper alone by more than $200 billion. The runs on money market funds ended only after the Treasury Department took the unprecedented step of using the Exchange Stabilization Fund to guarantee more than $3 trillion in money market fund shares. While this 